Hey guys, so I was really excited to get rolling on today's project and I completely forgot to do an intro, but today I'll be potting a plant upside down into this UFO planter. I've been waiting forever to do this, but first I gotta pick a plant. Okay, here are the options. Dude, that one would be really cool. Hmm, that one? Oh, that one, I, that's the right answer, right? This feels right to me. Plus, this was already living in this bathroom anyway for kind of a while now, and I know it's gonna do well, and this is, this is the right answer. This is the right answer. Okay, I'm just gonna set this here. No, I'm not, that feels dangerous. <sighs> I'm actually really nervous to pot this. I've never hung a plant upside down before, but we are gonna do our darndest. So I just have my regular go-to mix some long fiber sphagnum to maybe help hold the plant in. I don't know, I just don't know what's gonna happen when I flip it upside down. Hang on. The thing I'm worried about is the drainage hole is pretty big. Um, it's a good thing because I need to get the plant in there. It's a bad thing because it needs to hold in there. So if it's too easy to get in, it's not gonna hold when I flip it upside down. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use this to try to help hold it in place on the bottom, we'll see. Um, I guess first let's depot this. Okay, roots are looking pretty good. It's rooted actually kind of a lot into there, which is a good thing, but I'm gonna be really extra careful to take everything off around the roots so it'll fit through this dinky little hole. Yeah, right now, looking real small, but I know when it's upside down and crap's falling through the bottom, it's gonna look real big. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool though. Uh, so Ryan's thing is like drilling holes places, but I talked him into drilling a hole in the ceiling for me. Who does it? Well, I need to make sure that, this is the planter. So when, when you have it marked, will you hold it? Like it's there? Yeah? Yeah, that's cute. Don't you think that's cute? Then you can see the star in the ground and the house in the truck. Hopefully it doesn't break. Hopefully. Thank you. Which is really dapper of him. Uh oh, there's a lot of sphagnum trapped in there. I wonder if I could just try to squeeze this in as it is. Ugh. Ew. Oh no, it's in my house. Oh no, it's in my house. Oh good, it went away. I don't think the tea bag is actually gonna make a difference. So ignore, I'm just gonna try and fit all these little individual clumps in there, Oof. one at a time, and then see if I can, I don't know, get it in there. Oh, I should just do it like this. No. Ow. I forgot it was a cactus. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'm actually feeling pretty nervous about this decision now, suddenly, because there's pokies. I didn't think about it, this is a cactus. If I have it hanging in there, are the pokies gonna fall off? Okay, I'm just gonna backfill. Maybe I need to hold it up while I do this part. <gasps> that looks really cool. The question is if it's gonna stay like this or not. 
No, it's not. Oh, there's another bee. Oh, that looks so cool. Maybe if I water it, it'll help hold it. Let's go water. Because it's still kind of... Oh, I just stabbed myself again. I don't know. It's kind of lean and weird, but let's go water it. Kind of seems like I'm in a repotting mood because I think I'm going to repot this Opuntia. Is that how you say it? Okay, my mom gave this to me and she had this combo together. This paint on here, as much as I love it, is starting to like flake off pretty bad. So I think I want to move this out of here before it starts making even more of a mess. Although really, I think it's so cute. Ooh, ooh, see, isn't that so pretty? And like, you can see that there was a design on it. For some reason, when stuff is old and flaky like this, I extra love the look of it. But unfortunately, <laughs> there's also a mess with it. So, oh, that was such a rookie move. Katie's roots are <laughs> very, very small. Let's lay you right here. Anyway, so as for the two planter options, I have this yellow one. I really like the shape of it, but I don't actually think I like the yellow with the variegation on this. So I think I'm gonna automatically go to this one. And I love a skinny little planter with like a big <laughs> plant. I mean, this plant isn't huge or anything, but it definitely looks oversized for this planter, which I really like. Okay. Whew kind of backfill in so that it's evenly distributed all the way around and can hold the plant in place centrally. I really wish I could water this in, but it's already looking pretty plump <laughs> from a recent watering, so I may have to wait a little bit. Cute. I love this planter. I love it. And I'm just gonna be using this little silver, it's like a trinket dish as the saucer. Well, no, I don't actually love that. We are using a little terracotta saucer. Until I find the one, but that looks pretty good. What do you think? What do you think? Wow. Okay, my plant is out on my recovering Dracaena. Oh no, wait, yucca cane. Mass cane, that's what it is. It was a little perfect hook to hang it on to dry, so I might just have to do that the rest of the year, every single time I water it, because as I was down there watering this plant, I realized how am I gonna water this thing? It's gonna drip everywhere. There's no way to really put a saucer under it. I mean, I've seen those little clip things, which are handy for some pots. It wouldn't work for this because there's a plant coming out the bottom. There's nowhere for the saucer to hang. So I am just gonna have to hang this, I guess in like the bathtub, the shower to dry. <laughs> Seems like kind of a pain. We'll see if anybody gets pokies in their bum. <laughs> or not, it is right above the toilet. <laughs> the point I was gonna make is that this is a cactus. It's not gonna have to be watered as frequently as really any other kind of plant would have to be sitting right there. So maybe that's a good thing. 
We'll keep you posted on the thorns though. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna hang it. I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, shoot, maybe I should have set you up first. Hey, moment of truth. Is it gonna hang too low now? <gasps> no, that's so cute. Oh, that is actually perfect. Pfft, what was I thinking? Well, we did a lot of stuff in this bathroom today. I really like it. Actually, I need to, now I need to find something to go right here. I think this needs to be watered. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is so thirsty. Let's go water this. You can see how a bunch of the little sections are wrinkly, those things. <laughs> looking pretty floppy. So that's how I know that this needs to be watered. This has been one of my favorite plants recently, how it grows so weirdly and like, it's just really cool and different. It's really unique. All right, I'm definitely done with the repotting, but I did just wanna show you a few things I got thrifting the other day. I didn't take you guys with me, but these are some of my favorite finds I've found in a while. <laughs> so I had to show you, but first up is this mug. I'm sure that some art teacher had just dumped off a bunch of stuff that was left behind because there were so many things with initials in the bottom. Thank you, whoever you are, JH. It's pretty heavy, but I really like how thick and like sturdy the handle is. I can hold it in a very sturdy way. I found this for $2.50. Another one dropped off by an art teacher is this little catch-all dish. I love the shape of it. This one says Boyer on the bottom. I really, really like this one. This one was $2.50, $2.49. Isn't it pretty? Wow. Okay, the last thing, no initials on the bottom, but it is this vase, um, but this was $5.50. I really, really like both the texture of it. The shape of it is pretty cool too, how it's like pinched in some parts and then also the texture, the orange glaze, it looks really cool. I am kind of realizing, sorry, the backlight was really bothering me, but I'm realizing lately that my colors are blues, oranges, yellows, black, white, and then like brown, of course. I never really liked orange until recently. I think it's because I like the color of terracotta. Maybe that's what's turning me onto orange, but I like it. I love this. I think that these were all really, really excellent finds for 10 bucks, you know? Can't beat that. I'm very thankful it made its way into my life because I do think it's beautiful. Wow, look at those colors. Good finds, eh? Current, currently the bowl thing is living uh, on top of my table of home goods that I am shuffling around because Ren and I have a big project kind of in the process where we are doing built-in shelves. So I'm kind of gathering all my knickknacks so I can really make an impact with these shelves. And I'm also moving things off of the two shelves I currently have. So everything's just kind of congregating to my table that we don't use to eat on because I haven't found the right chairs yet. No, correction, I have found the right chairs. They're just way too expensive. So I will not be getting said chairs, although I think they're so cute. Yeah, and this just lives in the closet or in the cupboard. It's been cleaned and this one is living here right now. These are where the built-ins are gonna go. <laughs> I'm really excited. It'll look really a lot better, I think. 
Although I do love that shelf right now. Doesn't that look so nice? I'm getting off on lots of tangents here. Peeking in at the UFO planter again. It just kind of felt like this is where I needed to end the video since this was like the main point. It would be wrong to not bid it adieu. Yes, let me know what you thought of this. Um, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!